Hello and welcome. This time we are talking about digital analog converter. I said in the last video it's not uh, clear or it's not possible to have a full analog value. The digital value is in steps, so the analog value will be in steps as well. Yeah? Depending on the resolution we have more or less steps. So, uh, how does a digital analog converter, how does it work? I show you one typical example and will explain it to you. I will draw a four digit, I will four bit, four bit digital analog converter. For a four bit digital analog converter, we need four resistors They're both, or both, all of them, <laughs> on one side they are all, all connected, there's a separate resistor, and here we go to ground. Here we will have the output voltage. This should be our analog voltage UA. And here on the other side of the resistors, we do have switches. And these switches are the bits of our binary representation. Hmm? So they either open hmm, or closed. So, and they are connected to a certain battery voltage. Yeah? supply voltage plus UB. So this is S0, this is S1, this is S2, this is S3. And here we have the resistors R0, R1, R2 and R3. Here we have Rx. I will draw also the corresponding uh, currents. Here we have Ix, here we have I3, here we have I2, here we have I1, and here we have I0. And now those resistors are 0, 1, 2, 3, they are cascaded in a certain way. So we say this R0 is R, and R1 is half of it. And R2 is half of R1, so a quarter of R. R3 is again half, yeah? and so on and so on, if we have more. Yeah? And here, this Rx must be small according to R3, or the last one in the chain. The smallest other video, this must be much smaller. Why must it be much smaller? Because now I make the assumption that practically all of the uh, voltage UB is dropped at these resistors and only a small minor part is dropped here so we don't care. Okay? Because actually what I want to, to calculate is this I0 or the I's I0 is UB divided by R0. Okay. I1 is UB divided by R1 and I2 is UB divided by R2 and I3 is UB divided by R3. Okay. Now let's use this. Yeah. So this is UB divided by R. This is 2 times UB divided by R. Because it's only half, so this half is coming up. This is a quarter, so this 4 is coming up. Okay. 8, so this 8 is coming up. 
and here if we use Kirchhoff's rule, Kirchhoff's node rule and say this is a node we come the leaving current yeah, and the current which will go into the node must be the same Okay, this is Ix and Ua yeah, according the Ohm's law Ua is Rx multiplied by Ix Okay. so Ua is proportional to I Ix yeah, and Ix is the sum of all those i's. So let's make let's make an example. Well, let's have a look how this what what it would mean. Yeah, if we have here are the switches s zero, s one, s two, s three. Here are the corresponding currents i zero. I1, I2, I3, yeah? and here is Ix, yeah? and here is the output, the analog voltage. Yeah? Let's say we have here 0, 0, 0, 0, so all of the switches are turned off, so all our currents are 0. And UA is zero. That was easy. Now let's assume this is one. One, zero, zero, zero. Here we will be I zero. This is zero, this is zero, this is zero. IX is I zero. So UA is a Rx multiplied by I0. If we look at this, this is 2 times I0, this is 4 times I0, this is 8 times I0, because this is I0 here. Because this is getting important now. 0, 1, 0, 0. Then here we have 0. Here we have 2 times I0. In total we have 2 times S0, so the output is 2 times, this is not blue. If we're looking at the value, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, okay? So at 0 I have 0, at 1 I have 1 times this, at 2 I have 2 times this. Let's look what we have at 3. 3 would be 1, 1, 0, 0. This means here I have i0, here I have 2i0, you have nothing, you have nothing, so in total I have 3i0. So the output is 3 times Rx multiplied by i0. Ah, it's working, you see. This is changing in steps, huh? but reflecting the number. Let's use for instance 7. 7 is 1, 1, 1, 0. So we have here i0, we have 2 times i0, we have 3 times i0 and 0. Or 4 times of course. Because this is 4 times. So this is 4, 6, 7. There we are. It's working seven times. Let's use, I don't know, nine. One, zero, zero, one. I zero, 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 eight I zero. Oh, nine I zero. You see, it's working for all. for all numbers. 
Yeah? The trick, of course, is those resistors, that they are chosen in a way that they reflect the, the worthiness or the, the value of a digit. This digit here is worth 8 times this digit, so the resistor is only 8. Well, it's working. It's working on the paper, it's working in reality. However, the big disadvantage of these things, the big disadvantage is that I need resistors, resistors which are quite big and resistors which are quite small. Especially when I mean, it's a 4 bit and I have factor 8 in between. If I would have 12 bit, I would have factor 4096. Yeah. So I need a tiny resistor and a huge resistor. And usually the accuracy of resistors is given in percent. So the huge resistors, they do have quite an amount of inaccuracy. And if the amount of the big resistors and accuracy is bigger than the small resistor, well, I cannot even tell if a small resistor is added or not. Yeah? Because the un insecurity, the inaccuracy of, of the big resistor is simply too high. Yeah? This is not working out for us. Yeah? Or we spend really, really a lot of money in trimming our resistors. Yeah? Would, then it's working. You can make it work, but it's expensive. However, this is the principle on how these things are working. I show you now, I show you now a different approach. Yeah? The so-called R2R resistors. Uh, resistors. R2R. How's it called? Converters. <laughs> Such a converter. R to R converter. So how is this working? We also have, I also show you a four-digit one. Yeah, we also have four resistors here. Yeah? And we also have a switch. Yeah? And the switch is can also be switched to a certain battery voltage or supply voltage. Yeah? Or and now they are not open. Or they can be switched to ground level. Okay, they can switch between ground and a certain voltage. Then we go to the next bit. There it looks the same. Either ground or voltage. Then we go to the next. There it looks the same. ground or voltage. Then we go to the next. There it looks the same. <laughs> Either ground or voltage. I mean now there's not that much difference let's say. Yeah? And now I need a resistor and this is simply going to ground. That's it. Yeah? And here I tell you, I have immediately the output voltage. So here I have UB, plus UB. Here I have the analog voltage, UA. Here I have S0, S1, S2, S3. Okay. And now to the values, the resistors of the values, the value of the resistors. Here I have 2R. Here I have R, here I have 2R, here I have R, here I have 2R, guess what, here I have R, here I have 2R, and here I don't have R, I have 2R, so the last one is also 2R. This is why it's called R2R, yeah? because I only need two values of resistors, one and the twice as high. Yeah? This is, can be handled, yeah? this can be produced in huge quantities. Yeah? or bigger quantities, so they are not that expensive, they need to be accurate for sure, but also the value is not that different. Okay. This is how this is working. Yeah. 
But is it really working that way? Is it? I now simply tell you, yes, it is. Let's have a look. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's use a two-digit converter, R to R converter. So here is an R. Here is one two R. Here is a second two R. Here we are at UB. And here we go to the ground with 2R. Here's my analog voltage. Here's my UB. And here are my switches S0 and S1. Let's try how this looks like if I switch on S0, only S0. So S0 is 1, S1 is 0. Yeah? Then I will start at UB. I have UB. The next thing UB sees is a 2R. Yeah? Then on one side we go to ground with 2R. And on the other side, we pass in an R. Then here should be the analog voltage. And then with 2R, we go also to the ground. Okay, here's ground. So here is plus UB. Here is the analog voltage. How to calculate the analog voltage? We will now shrink this to, to calculate the current. So these two are series. So I will simply calculate. These are 2R here. And so here we have 2R and 3R in series, 2R and 1R in series of 3R. Now I covered my UA, I will we'll come to this. And now 2R and 3R in parallel, how does this look like? 2R, let's replace this with one resistor. How big shall this be? Here's my calculator. So it's 1 divided by 1, 2 plus 1, 3, 1 dot 2. Yeah. Let's calculate it exactly 6 fifth. Huh? That's it. So in total we do have one resistance here. Yeah. With, here we have 10, 16, 5th R. Okay. Here we have, at, we are still at plus UB. Okay. Here, this current here is U divided by R. So this I X here is UB divided by 16 fifth R. Okay, here is running this IX. Yeah. Here I have an UX, and UX is IX multiplied by 6 fifth R. So this is UB divided by 16. Fifth R multiplied by six fifth R. This R is gone, the five is gone, so it's six divided by sixteen UP. It's correct? Yes. So if I it's three eight UP. Okay, that's UX. UX is here. Okay. Here I have 
i y i y is u x divided by 3r yeah? so this is 3 divided by 8 multiplied u b this is u x divided by 3r and this is uh, the 3 is gone yeah? u b divided by 8r mm -hmm. here i y is running and u a equals i y multiplied by 2r yeah? so it's u b divided by 8r multiplied by 2r r is gone so it's u b quarter quarter of u b is the output in this case yeah? in this case the, it's the quarter of u b good looks good yeah? let's make a table UA if both are open UA is zero I mean it's obvious huh? zero volt and here we have UP40 UP no not UP40 UP quarter huh? UP quarter let's look how does it look like if only S1 is switched on. S1 is 1, S0 is 0. So I start again at UB, then here is open. Here I have 2R, that's the first thing we are passing. Then here is the output to UA, and then we have 1R here, and then we have parallel 2R and 2R. So, this is how this looks like. Here we have UA, the analog value, and we have UP here. These two in parallel, 2R and 2R in parallel, two equal resistors parallel is half of the resistor so actually we have here 2R 2R then here we have the output then we have R and the parallel is R here R and R are 2R so we are at 2R 2R And now here we have plus UB, plus UB. This is a voltage divider UA. And we have, if this is UB, here and here it's the same resistor. So we have two equal parts. So this must be UP half. So here we have UB half. Does not look too bad. Zero, fourth, half. Now let's hope. Here we reach three quarter. Then it would be in equal steps. Let's see. Let's see if both switches are one. We start again at UB. Then we have here on one side 2R. Then there is the output. Then we're passing R. And then we are here at 2R. We are at the same point. 2R and R are coming to the same position like 2R. And here we go with 2R to the ground. Hmm. 
this is how this looks like now. This is the analog value. Here we have plus UP. <clears throat> what can we do? We are again combining those two. It's 2R and 3R. Two R. Yeah. Here we have again two R and three R in parallel. This was is pretty much the same like this. This six fifth R. So we are so in total we have again this sixteenth fifth. Here we have this plus UB everywhere, still. And again, we do have here the same current running, like here. This is IX again. And this was UB divided by this, hmm? of course. Here is IX. Here I have now ux, and in this case, in this case, ux, ux is ix multiplied by 2r, and is ub divided by 16 fifth r multiplied by 2r. This r is gone, yeah. So it's 10 divided by 16 up. 2 times 10, yeah, that's ux. And here we have ui, yeah, and ui is ix multiplied by 6 fifth r, yeah. So this is up divided by 16 fifth r multiplied by 6 fifth r this 5 is gone this r is gone yeah so it's 6 divided by 16 up mm -hmm. should be so it's 2 8 up we have here here we have ui, here we have ux, here we have ux. Okay. This we know already. Here with ui we are calculating iy yeah. and iy is ui multiplied by 3r and this is 2 8 ub multiplied by 3r and this is 6 divided by 8 up multiplied by r and this is uh, a 3 quarter up multiplied by r okay this is here i y and here we have u set and this u set is i y multiplied by r yeah? No, of course not. <laughs> Here is a mistake. My good hands. Yeah. This is of course div divided yeah, by 3R. Yeah. Divided. 2 8 UI ah, UB divided by 3R. Yeah. So this is 2 uh, up divided by 3 24 24 r yeah. this is 1 up divided by 12 r yeah. this I have here 
u z equals yeah, r times i y and this is r is gone R is gone. Here is a mistake. Three, because three and five must be eight. So, I got here is three, here is three. Yeah. So, here, this I will leave, yeah. then we have 3 divided by 24, yeah. so this is 3 divided by 24 UB, <coughs> ah, this is 1. 8 UP. That's good. Now I like it. <laughs> you realize there was a mistake. 6 divided by 16 is not 2 divided by 8, it's 3 divided by 8, of course. Yeah. So it's here 3 divided by 8, 3, 3 times 8 is 24, 3 divided by 24, 3 divided by 24, yeah. and 3 divided by 24 is 1 8. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 24 divided by 3 is 8. Okay. And ua is uz plus ux, and this is uh, 1 8 up plus 5 divided by 8 up. This is 6 divided by 8 up. And this is three quarter UP. Hallelujah. We are here. Good. Three quarter UP. So indeed it's working. A little bit struggle here. But this R to R converter shows exactly the behavior we need. Yeah, this UA. Is growing with the growing number. Hmm? If you like, you can try this on this four bit thing. It's not, it's a lot of calculation, but it's not very hard. But you can see you make an error quite easily. Hmm? Especially if you're sitting in front of a camera and just calculating and thinking about the next sentences you want to tell. Hmm? However, I did do my mistake in my calculation and cannot come up with new sentences. Because honestly, for digital analog converter, that's all I have to say to you. Next time, we're starting with analog digital converters. There are not just two, huh? there are quite some principles, working principles. We see they have a pretty common part, but the other parts, they work simply different with their unique uh, benefits or, or advantages and disadvantages. We're going to discuss over the next few videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.